Stigurzy Castle. This is a spur. If you look at it carefully, you can see traces of gilt. This gold coating shows that it once belonged to a knight. Knights were professional soldiers. They trained for many years as squires in the household of their lord. Once they had gained their spurs, they gained their knighthood, perhaps by proving themselves brave in battle. Imagine it is the year 1067. William the Conqueror has been crowned King of England and his faithful supporter, Norman nobleman Richard de Courcy, arrives from Calvados in Normandy to take his new lands in Somerset. William the Conqueror's knights were one of the reasons he won the Battle of Hastings. The Saxons did not use horses in battle. As soon as Richard de Courcy arrived in Somerset, he set his men to work building something else the conquered English had never seen before, a castle. The first Norman castles were built quickly of earth and wood. They had a mot, which was a tower on a hill, and a bailey, which was a courtyard behind a wall and ditch. This is the Mott and Bailey Castle at Naroche near Taunton, which you can still see today. Later, these castles were rebuilt in stone and the Mott became a strong tower called a keep. This is the keep at Porchester near Portsmouth. Stigurzy was under new management. Even its name comes from its new owner, Stoke de Courcy, which over the years became Stigurzy. The castle looks very peaceful now, with its gatehouse, drawbridge and moat. When the castle belonged to Richard de Courcy, it was a military base built to strike fear into the conquered English. Richard is now the feudal baron of Stigurzy, and everyone who lived in his lands must now serve and obey him. Knights would have trained daily in the courtyard, and Richard de Courcy would have feasted in its great hall. He was not a nice man. Anything he wanted, he would take. Even the nuns at Cain in Normandy complained that he stole from their convent. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, there was fighting between his two sons for control of England and Normandy. Many Norman nobles used this as an excuse to fight each other and expand their lands. From the 1st of January to the 23rd of January, 1091, Stigurzy Castle was attacked and besieged by Robert of Bellamy. In the end, the attackers gave up and went home. During the reign of bad King John, the castle belonged to one of the king's favourites, Fulk de Briout of Gascony, and the king himself even stayed here. Fulk was said to be a tyrant, who made the castle and village a stronghold and a den of robbers. I once read, in a very old book, that there was once a secret passage that ran from the castle to the church of St Andrew at the bottom of the hill. Was there really a secret passage? I wonder.